Welcome back to Winair Video, your inside track for Windsor Essex's biggest infrastructure stories. Today, we're diving into the massive Howard Avenue and South Cameron Boulevard reconstruction, one of the most transformative road projects Windsor has tackled in years. Let's start with what's happening right now. As of November 2025, construction is in the final restoration stages after nearly seven months of intense work. Most major lane restrictions on Howard Avenue, south of Devonshire Mall, have been lifted. There is still a northbound lane closure for paving the adjacent multi-use trails, but city officials report that weather permitting, the entire corridor should be fully open by early November. The intersection at Howard, South Cameron and Division, which was long considered one of Windsor's worst congestion and safety, is now completely redesigned. The old awkward zigzag is gone. The intersection was shifted southeast to Sydney Avenue, which is now extended to connect at nearly a perfect 90 degree angle. The railway crossing on Howard has been removed and replaced by a safer grade crossing on Sydney Avenue. Scope-wise, this project has been extraordinary. We will get to the upgrades right away, but first may I ask for your subscription. It supports the creation of these construction updates. Join the Winair video journey and keep these informative videos coming. It helps more than you may know. I really do appreciate the support. Thanks. And back to the story. Upgrades include new storm and sanitary sewers, water main replacements, road widening and full surface reconstruction, new street lighting and traffic signals, enhanced sidewalks and bike lanes, major railway infrastructure safety improvements. The contractor leading this transformation is Amico Construction a veteran Windsor-based firm known for delivering large-scale municipal projects on tight timelines. The final price tag hovers just below $20 million, making it one of Windsor's largest roadwork investments for 2025. The funding comes entirely from the City of Windsor's Capital Works budget aimed at infrastructure renewal in high-traffic, high-growth zones. This intersection sees up to 40,000 vehicles daily, being a crucial link from the EC Row Expressway through Devonshire Mall and out to Provincial Road. Before construction, South Cameron and the old railway crossing were notorious for backups and dangerous cut through traffic plaguing nearby neighborhoods. In terms of controversy, business owners along the corridor, especially near Devonshire Mall and Union Square Plaza, 
experienced sales drops of up to 40% during the height of construction. Long detours, lane reductions, and uncertain timelines frustrated drivers and raised questions about city support for the affected businesses. City Council discussed compensation possibilities, reflecting on how impactful major infrastructure can be for commerce. Despite the disruptions, City Engineers and the Ward 9 Councillor repeatedly emphasized the long-term gains. This area was previously among the top five worst intersections in Windsor for safety complaints. Now, we see improved sight lines, dramatically better traffic flow, safer pedestrian and cycling routes, and a substantial reduction in cut through traffic in the Kenilworth subdivision. Residents will benefit from modern multi-use trails upgraded active transportation networks, and much safer commutes. The project also sets the stage for new commercial growth by eliminating infrastructure bottlenecks that held back investment for years. Looking ahead, some final restoration work and top asphalt coats will be applied during the spring of 2026. But the intersection is expected to remain fully open through the holiday season and beyond. For Windsor drivers, shoppers, and business owners. This is a transformative milestone, and you can count on Winair Video to document every step with awesome drone shots and behind the scenes stories. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for unparalleled insight into Windsor's infrastructure projects, and comment below with your own experiences on Howard and South Cameron. I'm interested. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.